you and go see. You're my daughter. And I want nothing more than to restore my family. I don't know if that's possible. I know I haven't earned much trust over the years. But can't you see a way to give your father another chance? Let me try to make up for all the times that I've hurt you. I still hold you responsible for Brian's death. That's why I took Johnny. Because I didn't want the same thing to happen to him, too. Don't you understand? I blame myself for Brian's death as much as you do. That's why I would rather die than put Johnny in harm's way. And that's why it's so important for us to work this out. Do you promise to stop fighting with Dusty over who's going to raise Johnny? I promise that I can try. It's not going to be easy, but I promise you that I will work with Dusty to find an equitable solution. I'm willing to try. But I have no idea what Dusty's going to do. He's focused on one thing right now, and that's Johnny's health. Making sure he gets better. Then we'll start there. Doing what's best for Johnny. Once he gets better, God willing. Well, he just he just has to get better. Oh, I'm sorry. I promised myself I wouldn't do this. Love him. You're scared. I know the feeling. I can't imagine what it's been like for you the last few months since he was diagnosed. And I'm so glad that you brought him back here. I hope I made the right call. Can we try to make this right? I know we can work this out. If we put Johnny first. All right. That's all I can ask. One step at a time. John, the bone marrow now. God, please let it work. I'm sure it will. I feel very optimistic. And after this dark period in our lives, I hope we can make peace. I'm gonna go check on Katie. Okay. I have a good source for passports. We'll take off as soon as Johnny's better. I don't care where we go. As long as your father never sees my son again. Margo, it's Craig. I have news. Lucy's back and she's brought Johnny with her. I want you to arrest her for kidnapping my son. Where are you off to? Oh, um, I'm just gonna go get some of Johnny's toys for when he wakes up. He's gonna have to sit still in bed for a few days, so... You don't have to go over there. I can send someone to the Lakeview to get whatever you need. Can they take a shower for me? <laughs> what if he wakes up and you're not here? Dusty's got it covered. I'll be back in a few hours. Craig and Margo went to look for you at the warehouse, but they'll be back soon. Go ahead, guys. Wait. Thanks. Hi. Oh, you look so good. <laughs> Just gone a couple hours and you're already feeling better, huh? That was sneaky of you. <laughs> Does it hurt a lot? Good. God, look how rosy your cheeks are. <laughs> oh, you're gonna be better, sweetie. I'm absolutely positively sure about it. <laughs> you have to listen to what the doctors and the nurses tell you, okay? And, um, and I want you to 
Listen to what Dusty tells you to, okay? Can you promise me that? Okay. Because, um... I'm going to have to leave for just a little while. But I'll be thinking about you the whole time. And I promise I'll come back and see you as soon as I can. Okay? But I want you to stay. <laughs> well, that, I mean, I wish I could, but... I have to go do some grown-up things first. But I won't be very far. I'll, I'll be right here. And you're gonna be right in here, okay? Me. And you're gonna get a new daddy. And a grandma, and aunts, and uncles. And you're gonna meet so many new people. And they're gonna fall in love with you just the same way I did. And it won't be the same. No. No, maybe it won't be, but... But it'll be just as good. I mean, you're gonna be safe now, Johnny. Nothing bad is ever gonna happen to you again. You're gonna be happy. I love you. See that too, okay? Bye. Just waiting for you, dear boy. Thank you. You have to go before Craig and Margo catch on. It's okay. We'll be forever. You keep him safe. I promise. <laughs> 